It has been an up and down start to the season, lads. We are killing it in the Champions League. The Premier League, not so much. Let's get this episode and this season back on track. So that we're killing it in every comp. EA really do not want us to win the Carabao Cup. In the third round, they matched us against Chelsea. And now they've matched us against Liverpool. Literally, we've only ever versed top Premier League clubs in the Cubs. But we're actually going to simulate this game here. If it was like the semi-final or even the quarter-final, then yeah, I'd consider it. But we do actually have a game against Liverpool on Saturday. It is currently Wednesday. We're going to rotate the side and see if we can get another big result here. We lose on penalties! Oh, I mean, it's one less competition to worry about. It's a competition we care least about. But the dream of the quad is currently over. All the five trophies is over. I mean, we couldn't get Cheltenham. We couldn't get Coventry. We couldn't even get Middlesbrough. We had to get bloody Liverpool. Losing to Brighton in the way we did last episode, that hurt my soul. I turned off my PC after that game and literally left the house. And I've just come home now. I want revenge. I don't want our season to go this way. We're killing it in the Champions League, but we need to, we want to win the damn Premier League title this year. Mo Salah is absolutely killing it as well to start the season. All right, let's see how Liverpool are lining up. Of course, we only played them a few days ago in the Carabao Cup, but they are going to rotate it slightly here. Simicas in the center back role. They've got Neves, Bellingham and Salah as a very good midfield. They got Hyun Son. I did not realize they got Hyung Min Sun in this save. But anyways, our starting lineup is back to our full strength starting 11. Like I said, no more rotating the squad. For a big game like this, we had to make sure that the starting 11 was fully fit and fully firing. Oh, it's a good ball from them. That's a good shot that I thought was about to sail into the top corner. Not Jota. Oh, good save. That scared the crap out of me again. That was a rocket. And I had no idea where that one was going, honestly. Opportunity here if we play our cards right. That's a great ball there from Phillips to Brahim. Brahim's running a little central, looking for some support. Threading the needle to Vlahovic, who scores! Alisson had no idea what he was doing. That is a brilliant pass through to Vlahovic. I actually want to see the reverse angle of this goal, just to see... What the hell Alisson was doing? It was like he thought we were going to shoot it across the body and we ended up sticking it top corner there. He just kind of fell over himself. That's a brilliant ball though. Yeah, Alisson just in no man's land. Get rid. Go, feed it. Nice ball there. Chill well of all players. Going to play it early there to Vlahovic. We've got a numerical advantage. I'm just going to see how far I can take it with Vlahovic. Follow up. Get it. Oh, he scores! The most impossible of angles. And Rafinha finds the back of the net. I need to see a replay of this. Did this one take a deflection? Or was that just the freakiest little finish there? We were unlucky not to score originally. I, I think that one's come off Alisson as he was running towards the ball. Is it going to go down as an own goal? It's come off his arm. Alisson's having a stinker. Is that going to go as an own goal? It is. Go to get that one away. Hyung Min Sun. Yes, Wan Bissak. Keep it in. Oh, clear it. <gasps> clear it. Nice clearance. Win that. Oh my god, that is brilliant football. We've got a bit of space here. I'm just holding down the sprint button with Brahim. He's getting caught up to by Delot. I might just go all the way. It's straight at Alisson. A third corner in a row here for Liverpool. They're going to go short to Paolo Dybala, who puts the early ball in. Rafinha. What a terrible clearance from Rafinha. I don't understand why the game does that. I press X to clear the ball away, and it always just goes boop, automatically to a player when it's off a corner. Always to an opposition player, and that has allowed the door to be open now for Liverpool. I mean, what is that from Rafinha? Surely you can get more of a header onto that. Go to defend. Mafeo against Chilwell. Got to defend. Get it away. Neves in behind. No, 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 no! Oh, we've blown the 2-0 lead in a matter of minutes. Polo Dybala has come on and has absolutely terrorized us. We just got to focus up, man. What is that? Phillips, where is my defense? Nice. Yeah, now feed it to Rafinha. I didn't want to go to Alvarez, but I'll take it. 
Alvarez holding it up, going to Basuma. Come on, let's go. We might have blown the two all two nil lead, and now we have the lead. Oh my god, that is a massive weight off the shoulders. Didn't even want to play it to Alvarez in the first part, but it works out well. We have got the lead here. Basuma scores. Now we need to hold on to it for God's sake. That's a nice finish as well. Focus up. They swing it in with Trent Alexander-Arnold, headed away from Chilwell. Oh, he's offside. Thank the Lord, because I thought I was about to pull the trigger there and top the, find the top corner. Oh, good tackle, Vlavic. Just hold on possession. Play it under. Phillips finishes it! Calvin Phillips in the 90th minute is going to get the goal. That is going to secure all three points here away at Anfield. We might have bottled the 2-0 lead, but we've got the two-goal advantage back now. It is 4-2. Come on, Leeds. We needed that one. Referee, blow the whistle. It's the 95th minute. Don't give them another chance. Call it there. Call it there. Thank you. Three points. A gutsy win. We almost bottled it, but we came away with all three points. I feel like a win here just about secures our round of 16 passage if we take on Club Bruges, if we can get the win against them. Bayern Munich are really struggling in this group as well. We are rotating the squad quite a lot, though. We are at home taking on Club Bruges. Come on, continue the undefeated run in the Champions League. We don't. We do not continue the undefeated run. Well, that just makes things a lot more interesting. All right, lads, we've got our full strength starting 11 back on the field as we take on last placed Burnley. I, I don't like simulating games at home and I don't like simulating a games against Burnley for God's sake. They are the biggest issue, but come on, don't make me hate myself. Oh my God, I almost hated myself. Rafinha and Phillips getting the goals and we get three more points on the board. All right, it is a rainy day here at the King Power Stadium as we look to make it three wins on the trot in the Premier League, taking on, of course, the Foxes. Ah, our former man, Gianluca Mancini. We know how much of a beast he can be. Hopefully that doesn't continue today. All right, checking out the Leicester side though. Kasper Schmeichel still sticking around. Christensen, Ben White, Andy Robinson, they have a good team in the back line there. Harvey Barnes, De Thomas, and Pacino. And then up top, they have Gerard Moreno. So we need to be locked in today. And then for a look at our starting lineup, I have rotated things slightly, given we've got a game against Bayern Munich in a couple days' time. The back line has Rico Henry joining it. Phillips and Basuma in the midfield. Aronson is going to replace Rafinha, whilst Dominic Calvert-Lewin is going to replace Vlahovic. Good touch from them. They put it across. Where is the marking? I'm controlling Juan Bissaka or whoever it was, Rico Henry. I look up and our defense is in no man's land. Timber is in no man's land. That is unbelievably frustrating. What can I do to stop that one? I'm controlling Rico Henry and just watch Timber and uh, old mate, just Romero, just let Moreno come straight through the hole. That is terrible from the AI. What the fuck? We've been peppering them with possession. Let's get something off this corner. Brahim is going to drill this one in. Calvert-Lewin's tall. Calvert-Lewin! <sighs> it's another corner. You know exactly what we're trying to do. Dominic Calvert-Lewin in there from Brahim. It's a little deep and goes to Romero. Back post. It's going to be Basuma. We're going to get another corner. I don't think it would have been on target anyways, to be fair, but... Let's drill it in again here. Running onto it is Alvarez. It comes out to Phillips, who's going to go there to Aronson. Green times it, but he's blocked. <gasps> they turn it over. Oh, my God. <laughs> Christensen, I'm just defending here using Rico Henry. Cannot allow them to put it in the middle again. Phillips, just before half time. Let's keep this one at a 1-0 scoreline. And Diddy going here to Di Thomas. Ruben Di Thomas playing it off there. Absolutely brilliantly smothered by Krupa. That probably should have been 2-0. Come on, lads. Alvarez, that's brilliant. I hope Raheem is onside because we're going to go back post. Oh, my God. He was offside. That was brilliant football until the fact. How far offside was he? Surely not that far. Ugh. Defend. De Thomas with a long shot. What a save from Krupa. De Thomas has some ability in his locker. Ah, oh, Timber's been turned there by Gerard Moreno. Good coverage defense from Romero. They've got the man under, though. They've taken it past us. They've hit the post, and they've made it 2-0. We've been caught in the position where we normally thrive. Normally, we're the ones scoring goals on the counterattack. 
but this time it is Leicester City doing that. We've got to bring the big dogs on, lads. Rafinha and Vlahovic are on for the last 25 or so minutes. We need to turn this up to 11. All right, we've got a corner here, lads. I'm looking for Vlahovic. I'm looking for somebody to get their noggin onto it. Vlahovic, header, straight at keeper, straight at Schmeichel. Out to Basuma. Come on, do it again, lads. Brahim, going in. Rafinha to Brahim. Brahim, get it in the middle. Timber. Oh, the defender blocks it. Bro, we can't score a goal to save our life today. What is going on? Oh, don't do me like this. Oh my God, it's a good save. We've got a corner here. It's going to take a minor miracle if we can get anything from this game. We need to score here though. Vlahovic, we just can't score for corner today, man. How many opportunities have we had? And we lose that game 2-0. Our two-run win streak in the Premier League comes to an end. And that is a frustrating loss. We've received a transfer offer here for the first time in a while. It's for Jack Jenkins who I'm open to selling, and I'm going to accept that one. Let's see if we can go through before the window opens. All of a sudden, we've gone from being in a very, very comfortable position to having to really turn it up for the last two games of the Champions League campaign. We're about to take on Bayern Munich. A result here would go a long way to getting us into the next round, but we need to make sure we get this result. We're away at what should be the Allianz Arena, but of course, it's not in FIFA this year. Damn you, Pez. But this is a big game in an intimidating stadium against an intimidating side. All right, let's take a look at what Bayern Munich are rolling with. It's very similar to the side they rocked against us at Ellen Road. Very good team. Mauro Icardi on the bench. Martinelli on the bench. I didn't notice that last time. And now for a look at our side. Only one big change to the starting 11. I've brought in... Old mate Conrad Lehmer for this one. Basuma relegated the bench. Chesney also won the starting 11, but I've played him for most of our Champions League games, to be honest. Oh, I thought we were going to make a great tackle there. Need wan -Bissaka back as Alfonso Davies is belting down the line here. Alfonso Davies running in. Alfonso Davies can't let him shoot. Nah, as if... Oh, what a block from Romero. And it's saved from Chesney. That was hard attack material. Well intercepted there from wan -Bissaka. I see Rafinha playing it down the line. It goes to Vlahovic instead. Make the run underneath me, Rafinha. That's brilliant. Rafinha, 1-0 exactly the way we drew it up. We've got the lead here at the Allianz Arena. And it is Rafinha, the highest rated man in our squad, doing it. No, oh, defend. 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 Timber against Raspadori. They get the shot and they drag it wide. Ball being played around. Got to defend. Musiala going here. They flick it up and they force a good save out of Chesney. Kimmich on the attack for Bayern Munich. Sliding that one underneath. Smothered from Chesney. I try to block it. What are you doing on the line, Timber? You're just standing there. And Bayern Munich get themselves an equalizer. I've got to say they really do deserve it. They have been impressive. Oh, but still it's annoying. Come on, let's get it early. Nice. Hold it up. Vlahovic going here. Alvarez, Alvarez going, oh, I think he might be offside, he's not, Alvarez, oh, straight at the keeper, follow up, Alvarez, get it through, nah, Raspadori, step overs galore, just trying to defend lads, trying to defend, don't let him get a long shot off, his dribbling play is impressive, going here to, J J oh, Musiala, oh, we got so lucky, Wambasaka, consider yourself a lucky man, Come on, counter-attack though. Phillips running up the guts. I see Chilwell. Chilwell coming in early. I see the option. It's Brahim and it's a great save from Manuel Neuer. This game has truly been end-to-end. -end. We've got a corner here on the 84th minute. Brahim's going to drill it in. It's a bit deeper than I wanted. It is Romero and it's a great save from Manuel Neuer. On the attack. Looking to play it. Defend lads. Do not let them do us like this. They get the shot off. Oh my god, I thought they saved it. That was just a miss. Holy shit. Is there time for one last play? I don't want to give it them a chance of getting the winner, but... Ah, uh, okay, it comes out of Phillips. Focus, Jared. Do not let the ball go backwards. Oh, that's a good ball. Vlahovic. Make the run underneath. Brahim. No, it's Chilwell. Please be onside. What is that pass? It was onside. Don't blow the whistle. Don't blow the whistle, you prick referee. How have we not won the game there? It was begging to be won. And it's gonna come down to the final day of the Champions League group stages because we've drawn with Bayern Munich. This group is insane. Anybody can qualify on the final day. We currently sit first place in the Champions League group on eight points. 
Bruges on seven, Bayern Munich on six, and Hayek split on six as well. We just need to make sure we beat Hayek split and we'll be the Champions League group stages or knockout rounds. We have received a transfer offer though from PSG for Marcos Antonio. 30.5 million pounds. Let's go see if we can get 38.6 million pounds here for the Brazilian midfielder. I can use that definitely with January around the corner. We're going to counter off at 30. We'll say, let's say 37.5 for Marcos Antonio. And Pochettino is going to say yes. It looks like Antonio is going to be out of the club. Going to finish off today's episode, though, with the game against Tottenham. They are also struggling just like us. We're at home here. Come on, lads. Let's give ourselves a bit of hope to end the episode with the scoreline against Tottenham. is a 2-1 win. Max Kilman of all players, getting the win in the 89th minute. That is phenomenal, Maximilian. So as we get into December, we are currently sitting 14th in the Premier League, but there is a lot of room to grow. We just need to go on one winning run of form, and we'll be right back into the Champions League title picture. Brighton leading the league as well. But lads, that's where we're going to conclude today's episode. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.